Hey Sagittarius, it's me, Sagittarius Soul Tarot. I'm going to go ahead and do um, just a general love reading for you guys currently, what's going on. Okay, it's going to be just a, a general message for Sagittarius, uh, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, Cross Watcher. Um, don't mind me, I'm kind of still congested. I have a little bit of like a cold. So what I'm going to do is, I got these cards that I made from an index um, an index set here with uh, like wrote words on them but I'm going to like shuffle these and kind of see what like your person wants to say to you um whoever you, if you're dealing with somebody or if it's the person that like you're broken up with or something of that and then I'll do like the tarot of course my romance angels and then the zodiac cards sorry that was my dog anyways I want to go ahead and do your guys is just like a general message like what you guys need to know how this person's feeling okay or felt so I'm gonna go ahead and start with these here let me see if I can shuffle them it's kinda hard to shuffle these cards because they're kinda flimsy so yeah that's not working out <laughs> alright I'll just give these a good shuffle now I'll get a couple of these here for you guys I'll get a couple on the top here. At least it's going to be easier to shuffle, but they're not, so I'm sorry. Alright, I'll just grab a couple on the top here. Alright. <clears throat> okay, so we have, what we had was a very strong and deep connection. I've never had this with anyone else. Okay, so the person maybe you're dealing with, they felt so like close to you. They felt like a real strong connection. Um, I feel as if you don't want me anymore. Maybe you guys had like a falling out. And they want to say that you are their everything. Okay, so that's pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and shuffle these a couple times. And then I'll get like how this person currently feels about you. Sorry guys, I'm still not really awake. I just woke up like 30 minutes ago. <laughs> Wait on this coffee pot to brew my coffee. Okay, one more shuffle. Let's see how Sagittarius this person feels about them. I'll do a three card spread. How they currently feel. Okay. Not okay, page of wands reverse, four of swords, six of wands. Okay. <clears throat> I feel like right now they're not really, there's not much kind of going on with this person. They're maybe doing a lot of self-reflection with the Four of Swords. Maybe they're thinking things through. But I feel like there is going to be a victory with this person. Or they feel like it's going to be if they come towards you. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and clarify the Page of Wands here in the reverse. I feel like they, they could be dealing with something right now. It's causing them maybe not to <clears throat> approach you. Alright, where's the page of wands in reverse? Okay, we have the two of pentacles, queen of pentacles in reverse. I feel like there's a situation that has to do maybe with their finances, okay, or they just don't feel like they're um, at the point where they can help you in some way. They don't feel that they can be good enough to support you because maybe they have something going on, okay, maybe there's a lack of a situation in their life. <clears throat> Or they could be juggling a lot, too, with the Two of Pentacles. They could have a lot on their plate. They just could be, like, really stressed out. Okay, Four of Swords. I thought there is a lot of self-reflection, though. Okay, the Page of Swords in reverse. I feel like they, they want to talk to you, but they don't know how to come across it. They don't really know. They're trying to think in their, like, I thought like they're trying to, like, think how they can talk to you without it, like, coming off, like, a situation. Like, if you guys are, like, in separation, you guys aren't talking... Okay, yeah, because I see the Nine of Pentacles and the Sun in reverse. So this person, like, is very kind of unhappy with their self right now. I feel like they're kind of going through some dark times, okay? The Page of Swords in reverse, they, like, aren't really speaking to you or they're not really trying to come across a way to speak to you. As well as the Nine of Pentacles and the Four of Swords. I feel like this is an energy where this person wants to be single right now. They don't want to focus on anybody. And it's nothing personal. They just probably are going through something where they don't want... 
you know, to, like, focus on, like, a relationship. Maybe they're just not there because of their finances or they just have a lot of stress in their life. Okay? Six of Wands. But I feel like whatever they get through to, like, after this all comes about, I feel like they see you as being very successful with them. They see you guys being successful, but you're going through this time where they kind of are maybe depressed and they want to be alone. All right, Six of Wands. Okay, the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, I don't feel like they're coming in to offer you anything, but once they do, I feel like it is going to be successful. Okay, Eight of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, I feel like I feel like it's almost like self doubt. Okay, is what's going on. Like they know like you're their prize. Like you that they could be with you and be happy, but they're like for some reason they're like stopping themselves. They're like making themselves making it harder on themselves. They're not putting the work in. They're wanting to be single right now. They're unhappy because they're single maybe and it's like what's the point you know like if they just were to be with you you know why does it have to be so hard you know all right let's see how you guys feel about this person and this could be a past person or person you're dealing with but i feel like this person like wants to be single but then it's like upsetting them that they are single okay or they're just they're wanting time to try to heal but it's like they're still unhappy Go ahead and do one more shuffle for how you feel about this person. Okay, Page of Pentacles, Reverse, The Devil, Queen of Wands. Okay. I feel like you haven't given to this person. You haven't given them some kind of offer or... I feel like you've almost kind of given up with this person, okay? You do have a lot of passion for him, okay? Maybe you put the devil here. I feel like you find this person being very toxic. And I feel like you're kind of to the point where you're just not really offering anything. You're just kind of like, whatever. And you're kind of exploring your options, seeing what other people there are. Okay, or you could see that person as being that way, that they're exploring their options. But I feel like you see them as being very toxic or somebody not good in your life. Okay, with the Page of Pentacles in reverse, you have the Four of Pentacles reverse. I feel like you're letting go of somebody here with the Five of Swords. You don't really tr trust them. You feel like they're just kind of the same whatever, just to say it, kind of person. You know what I mean? Like, they aren't really, maybe their actions and their words don't, like, wink up. You know, like, they, they say that they're going to do something and then they never do it. Alright, the Devil. Alright, All right, Queen of Pentacles. You know that you're better than that, than this person. You know that what they have to offer you is this maybe absolute, like, they, you know, like, you have a lot more worth, okay, than to be with this person. This person's a very manipulative, maybe a narcissist, okay? Somebody that's just very toxic in your life. And you know, like, you're better than that. And it's like you're finally starting to see it. And I have Pentacles on reverse. I feel like you don't want to be single, okay? It's like you don't want to be single, but you want this person to see your worth, okay? Because maybe they're so toxic, they never really seen your worth before. But I think you're trying to show this person, like, yeah, you know, you, you have a lot of worth, but you also, like, don't want to be single either. Like, you want this person, but if it's going to be where they're toxic and they're not going to treat you, like, with what you deserve, then it's not worth being in this situation. Okay, with the lovers in reverse. Yeah, there's some separation between you guys. Okay, and I feel like you don't want the separation. You don't want, you know, there to be this distance, okay? But I feel like now you've kind of, you're at this point where you kind of see things more clearly. Like, maybe you were, um, I feel like maybe you were, like, kind of not really seeing this person for who they were. And you kind of just thought, like, they seemed decent. You liked how they, you know, maybe you liked everything about this person that you thought you knew. And now you're kind of getting to a realization this person's just not really good for you and I feel like you're starting to maybe ex explore your options but I feel like it does make you sad that you know like maybe you wanted this happily ever after with this person okay six of cups reverse um with the queen of wands I feel like if this person were to come back around like you wouldn't want it like you're just kind of like whatever wheel of fortune you want something new to take place like I feel like the cycle is pretty much done with this person like they've they're at this point where they've I feel like they've just, like, hurt you so much. The two swords reverse. Yeah, yeah. I feel like you've made a decision, like, how you feel about this person. It's pretty much, like, it's over, you know? It's, like, it's too bad because you wanted to be, you know, with this person, I feel like. Okay, I feel like you guys really wanted this this connection, this person. But it's, like, if it's going to come to this where you're, like, so upset about it, like, it's not worth it. Okay? Let's go ahead and see 
actions this person plans on taking. The Sagittarius. Let's do three shuffles. But yeah, like I feel like you guys are kind of going through something right now. Especially with Valentine's Day. I feel like that has to maybe do a factor with it. Like you thought this person, you guys maybe made plans for Valentine's Day. Or you guys were really hoping you could spend Valentine's Day with this person. And they just almost act like they don't care about even seeing you or making plans with you. It's almost like, who cares, you know? Let's see the action this person plans on taking with Sagittarius. Okay, the moon. Page of Swords reversed. Ace of Swords reversed. Yeah, they're not going to talk to you. <coughs> there isn't going to be any truth coming out. This person's just going to, like, do what they always do and not speak. Okay? They're just going to, like, not talk to you. They're, or they're just going to have you up in your head and dreaming about, like, what could be. Okay? Or they could be thinking about you a lot. Okay? They could be thinking about you a lot, but not knowing what to say. Okay? Because they know maybe what they're going to say is going to come off kind of childish or they're just not really... They have, like, a childish demeanor. They don't really know how to approach a situation. So instead of, like, approaching it, they just ghost you. Okay? Or they just don't say anything to you. Because I don't really see any, like, talking or any clarity. I feel like you're just still in your head about this person. And this person could be in, you know, you could be up in their head, too. But they just, they're not speaking to you. For whatever reason, there's not any communication. I feel like there's blocked communication or they just don't talk to you. You guys maybe have, like, a weird situation where you guys just don't really talk to each other and if you do it's like you guys just have like small talk it's not really like you guys don't really get your feelings about this person all right so the moon here we got the queen of swords reversed and the nine of wands so yeah you're mad at this person i feel like this, this person's either mad at you I've, if it's a if you're a woman i feel like you're mad at this person though and you're defensive like maybe you're thinking about this person like this, the times that you guys could have okay or thinking about like what could be but you're just mad and you're guarded from this person okay i feel like you even if they did communicate i feel like you're just kind of defensive and kind of guarded you just don't want to talk to this person anymore i feel like it's kind of like it's a, it's a wrap you know yeah, with the two of cups in reverse, you're just over this situation. Okay, I think you come to a realization that this, like, dream in your head of, like, I feel like at one point it was like this, and then now it's like, okay, I feel like you guys kind of realize, like, okay, this is all in my head. This isn't, like, how this person feels about me. It's, okay, I feel like that's kind of what's going on. I'm not trying to be, like, negative, guys, but I feel like it's better to kind of come across this instead of wasting more time. Page of Swords reversed. Yeah, I feel like this person isn't going to talk to you, or they're just very, if they are, it's going to be very childish. So they're not going to learn from, like, how they talked to you in the past. It's going to be the same cycle. Okay. Queen of Wands reversed. I feel like they feel defeated. They don't really know, like, what to say. Okay. Like, maybe they feel defeated. They feel like no matter what they say, it's not going to be good enough. Maybe they can feel, like, you're drifting energy where you're not really into them anymore. Okay. Ooh. Yeah, the Six of Pentacles in reverse. They haven't been balancing out the situation at all. They haven't been giving or taking. Okay, there's a lack of somebody trying. And I feel like it's this person. I feel like you guys have tried too much. With the Three of Cups, I feel like they could have been entertaining other people as well. And that's kind of why, you know, they want to. They don't really know how to talk to you because maybe they had plans with other people. And it's just very unbalanced. Like, they... Let me get more on here. Okay, the Ace of Swords reversed. I got the Seven of Pentacles reversed. Like, they're just not putting any more effort into this. They're not getting this to grow. They're just, everything's just pretty much dead with this person, I feel like. Ten of Wands. This is too much stress. I feel like this is too much stress. Or, like, if they talk to you, it's just going to be too much stress. Hey, man. Yeah, they're stuck in their head. Like, they just don't even know what to do at this point. Like, you know what? I'm going to be, like, real with you guys. You guys don't need a person like this. You, you don't need a person that's just always in their head, that doesn't even know how they feel about you. One minute you're cool, they like being around you the next, it's like, oh, I don't really know. Or they're entertaining other people, or they made plans with other people and they didn't want to tell you that. So it's like putting a lot of stress on them, okay? Because maybe they already are seeing somebody else, or they are talking about maybe going and hanging out with somebody else and having other plans. And that's why you, you haven't heard from this person. Okay, I'm not trying to be mean, but if this is the case where this person just leaves you on like this, like, you don't need that crap. Like, I'd rather be by myself, entertaining myself, than entertaining somebody like that, honestly. 
I'm getting to the point, you know, I'm 24 years old, I, I don't need this crap, I don't need somebody acting like they like me, and then they just don't conversate with me, I just, it's whatever, you know, <laughs> I'm not trying to be, like, like, cranky or anything, but I'm just saying, like, you guys don't need that. Alright, the overall outcome, we get the Knight of Cups, ugh, the Judgment, the King of Cups, oh my gosh, okay, the overall outcome. So, here we go again. It's like what I'm going to say. Here we go again. Okay, so now I feel like because the other actions, how they were kind of... I feel like you were mad at them and guarded and all that good stuff. Just like how we always get. Like, us Sagittarius is when we get mad, we get mad and we don't speak. You know, we don't talk to you. We don't do anything. So, I feel like you were kind of having that energy. Maybe even seeing this person in public and you just were avoiding them, ignoring them, not talking to them. And they started just, like, thinking, like, oh, God, like, now I scared this person away. Because I feel like it's kind of like you guys are, like, you guys like to kind of chase each other. It's kind of like a game, like, kind of like Tom and Jerry. Like, you guys like to, you know, play hard to get with this person. Or it's like a little cat and mouse game. And it's like if you start, like, not giving to the game, then this person gets kind of worried. Like, oh, no, that I lost them. I can't play around with this person anymore. Okay. Kind of makes me think of a... <laughs> I'm not trying to laugh, but, like, Toy Story, when, uh, they throw, like, the, I think it's the second movie, and they throw Woody, like, on the ground because, like, he's broken or something, or there was a piece of him that was, like, broken, and then that little kid, like, Andy, is like, I don't want to play with you no more. That's kind of how I feel about this situation. I feel like once you, I'm not trying to, like, laugh and say your movie is, your life's like a kid's movie, but, um... I know this house person feels like once, you know, you don't want to play with them anymore, then they get kind of worried. Okay, because now I see they've made a judgment call. There's an awakening in the outcome. There's an awakening, and they're like, holy crap, like, I need to rush in and, you know, give this to Sagittarius, or I'm going to lose them. I feel like now they're starting to realize their, fo their feelings, their emotions, like, oh shit. Like, the more that I walk away, or the more that I don't you know, do anything about this, it's better to give something to give nothing at all, you know, after they got, like, an awakening, and they're like, oh my god, like, maybe now they came to terms, like, you are my everything, okay, and then, oh my god, I feel as if you don't want me anymore, okay, and then, like, we had a strong connection, I've never had this with anyone else, oh my god, what if you don't want me, you know, so, I feel like that's what's going on, this person's coming to a clearization, a realization, sorry, clear-minded, that, oh my god, I'm going to lose this person, okay? You got the Magician in the reverse with the Knight of Cups. I feel like they haven't really been manifesting the situation with you, okay? I feel like they had all the time they could have manifested you, but instead, they weren't. They were manifesting other things, other people, and now, the lack of the manifestation with them in this connection, it's making them have to try harder. They have to try harder to get your acceptance, to get your love. Okay, let's see what else we have. Sorry, guys, I'm venting on this video. I just feel like you guys need to know this stuff. Okay, we've got now... Oh, now that it's the Two of Cups. It was in the reverse. I didn't, like, really care before. But now, they realize when you haven't been acting like you care about them or give them any attention, now they realize, like, holy crap, like, it was there all along. This person, I love this person. Or, they're my soulmate. I didn't see it before. I was too blindsided by other people, you know? Queen of Swords. Now they're gonna come in and want to talk to you, okay, or they want this communication from you, because they could be the Knight of Cups, and you're the Queen of Swords, and now they want to talk to you about how they feel, how they didn't manifest this, they didn't do anything to really fix the situation. Okay, judgment. So I feel like they've really made this judgment call, they know, like, what's real here. Okay, the Queen of Cups reversed. Okay, they know that they were, I think they know that they were being very heartless to you, they were being very, um, but they weren't opening up. I think they realize that. The Queen of Cups in reverse. They realize how they were treating you. Okay, King of Wands. Now they want to give you this passion. They want to put in the, the work here. Okay, Ten of Wands. Because they know that they stressed you out. They know that this was a stressful situation. They know that you were carrying all this burden. Okay, and they realize that they need to get their act up is what I see. Okay, King of Cups here. Queen of Wands, they want you to give them some passion here. They want this passionate connection. Because they got the King and the Queen of Wands. So they want this passionate, you know, love here. And they, I said they finally come to a realization how they feel about you. They just, they were blindsided all along. 
okay? Or they weren't really blindsided, but they just didn't want to accept it, okay? Maybe they are going through stuff, and they didn't want to accept how they felt. Okay, page of swords reversed. They could have been childish with their words. They could have, like, not spoke to you. Okay, there could have been definitely, like, a lack of communication. And I see the Ten of Cups, yeah. So, I feel like they didn't tell you, like, how they felt. They probably did all along have feelings for you, but they were just kind of blocking them out because they didn't want to feel it. Okay, I feel like it's a person that they don't want to know how they feel. They just kind of act like they're good. They don't really like to express their emotions or they don't like to have emotions for people. And I feel like this whole time they were just blocking it out. I just want to be honest. They were blocking it out by other things, other people. Um, and I know that sounds crappy because you don't do that to the person you care for, but... You know, I thought this would happen. So we have finances and career. Like, that's what I said in the beginning. I thought this person was lacking with their career or their finances or just stability in general. And then, like, maybe they had a disconnect with the retreat here. So maybe that's why you haven't seen much of this person. They were just kind of in hiding. Okay. Also, we have chemistry, though. Let me see if I get any more. Free yourself. So I feel like you had to free yourself for a minute, though. Just free yourself from the situation because... You know, if you felt like it wasn't coming for you, it wasn't doing anything. You know, but now I feel like once you pull back your energy, I get all these good cards, okay? I get all these cards of this person. They come to realization how they feel. Okay. Now let's go ahead. Here's the fun part. Let's go ahead and see. we do a couple of signs. Let's see what sign this person could be. Because I do get a lot of water, so I feel like it was like an, a water sign. Yeah, Cancer is the first one. Also, we got fire, so Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. All right, water again. So, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We got Leo on the bottom, and Gemini on the top. But definitely, I feel like it was a water sign you were dealing with. Because that's kind of what they do. They are so full of emotion, they don't want people to know how they feel. Okay? All right, Sagittarius, that was your guys' um. Uh, just like love video sorry i kind of vented a little bit but if you guys like the video make sure you like and subscribe okay um let me know down below how you like it all right so i appreciate you guys so much for all the subscriptions the likes and the comments um let me know how this resonates i like to hear your stories hope you all have a wonderful day thank you so much for watching